Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here and I got uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and some M2s and a couple of Masto cars here. And I got a mail call with some goose chases. So uh, we're going to take a look at these. The first one I got up here is a Masto and it's a 1962 Biscayne and it's a station wagon. And I thought that was sharp. It's got rubber wheels on it. I never seen this one before so. I better have it for the collection. I don't mind it loose. It looks good and loose. I'll put it with the rest of my loose cars, I guess. And I got another one. And this is in a different color. It's not an ambulance or nothing. Another 62. Uh, they were pretty sharp. So uh, that's why I grabbed them. And then this one here, 1956 Nomad. I thought that was cool. This is actually Hot Wheels. I don't know if it's some kind of special edition one or what have you. It's got rubber wheels on it and it's uh, red and white with the red interior which is pretty cool. And there's the bottom of it. 62 Nomad but it's got rubber tires on it and everything and I've never seen this one before. That's why I grabbed it and it's got an opening hood on it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's uh, different. I don't know where it's from or what series or anything about this. I just seen it and thought it was awful cool, so I grabbed her. Okay, we'll get rid of this stuff now. And get into the other. I guess we'll start with uh, Matchbox. And the first one I got here is the Matchbox Super Chase, which uh, I thought was pretty cool. So I got... Uh, the Corvette from last year and the Bronco from this year and I guess the next one that's coming out is the Porsche and that is pretty cool not bad at all the cards not the best of shape but it don't really matter to me I don't uh, I don't care about the card too much as long as I get the card the car I guess but it's a pretty cool Bronco and that's the uh, Matchbox Super Chase it's 2021 Bronco pretty cool and then I picked up this here Peel Region Paramedic Service because uh, Peel Region is Toronto and it's not that far away from me. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool to get that. That was neat. See something kind of local made by Matchbox. That was pretty cool. It was awesome. And then I got some actual premiums here. And uh, these are Hot Wheels again. Get this is done in order here. So the first one, it's all Fast and Furious. It's a new set out. But it's got the, uh, the 99 Ford F-150 Lightning here. This thing is sharp. I love it. I think it's great. I did buy the bigger version of this. And uh, now I have this little one. And I have the regular version, main lines. So I have all three now of this truck, and I think that's just cool. I think they did a great job on this. I really like this. This is really the only one that's different in the set, I believe. But uh, it's pretty cool. Even the car art's awesome. Love that. It's an awesome truck. And let's see, where's number two here? Number two. It is the 87 Buick Regal GNX. So, uh... Yeah, this will be very sought after. It's been out before. It's nothing really new, but it's part of the set, so I grabbed it. It's all black, black interior, everything. Black wheels. This thing is blacked right out. It's pretty sharp. This is not the first time this has been out, but uh, still pretty cool. I like it. It's part of the set, so that's why I got it. And then... We have the 77 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Now this here is uh, not a new casting again. This has been out for a while, this casting. and They just redid it and put it in the Fast and Furious card. So Nothing really new about this set at all. But, you know, I've seen the set. I got it. So that's it. That's the new set. And then number four of this is the Dodge Charger again nothing new you haven't seen before this is a wide body I guess the card got it as a wide body at the 
the car itself isn't really it is it is a wide body kit on it but not as pronounced as the uh, the car on the card art that's for sure but uh, yeah it's still pretty cool like I said it's part of the set I bought a whole bunch of tracking so I get to put all this stuff up now so this is gonna be nice then we got a 1970 Chevy Nova SS again oh, the card art's good I like it almost looks like a photo it probably is but uh, yeah this is nothing new this has been out for a while they just uh, put it back out in a Fast and Furious card I guess and actually it might have been out in a Fast and Furious card already I don't know if it had I probably got it so that's that that's the new Fast and Furious set and then uh, let's just stick with the Hot Wheels I got a bunch of loot or not loose ones but carded ones these are ones I didn't have and uh, this is Cabin Fever and it's a truck of some sort it's yellowed I picked it up because it is Hot Wheels 8 so it's Hot Wheels Racing I do collect the Hot Wheels Racing series which is going to be nice to be able to put them all out so that's why I grabbed it I just wish the car or this wasn't yellow but eh, I might find one that's not all yellowed we'll see it's still all right and then I got this 1970 Dodge Charger Daytona um, this is quite old and I think I may have this one already I'm not 100% sure but I got it anyways the cards a little messed it doesn't matter but the car itself pretty cool oh it's even broken in the back so uh, yeah she's a little rougher shape this one maybe it's an error yeah it looks like they messed it up and yeah, it's the rivet wow didn't even notice it until just now oh that's all right yeah, there's a little quality control issue there not a big deal don't care and then I got a 2004 first edition F racer this is done in a flat black hot wheels on the side uh, that was pretty cool don't see a lot of this stuff anymore the older ones so that's why I pick up most of it and then I got this angular panel which I have loose but I didn't have it carded and now I have it carded so this will go with my race team stuff or Hot Wheels Racing number two that was pretty sweet and then I got the Mercedes AMG GT3 another one for the uh, Hot Wheels race team I guess this isn't one of them but it's got the same paint job as one so uh, what the heck better have it for that I'll hang it up with the rest of the race team ones doesn't really matter pretty cool and then these are all different ones I haven't seen before so this is power piston and this one here is like a black chrome I, that was pretty cool so it says there's four of these so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out and see if I can't get the rest of them I don't know how easy that will be but I'm gonna try I like to have complete sets and I think that set would be kind of neat to have and then I got another 2008 first edition this is passing gasser and uh, I like it because it's got the Goodyear, Goodyear tires on it uh, that was pretty cool nice touch I have quite a few of these already but uh, I don't remember one in purple with the Goodyear tires so that's why I grabbed this one and then I've got another Thunderbird well it says T-Bird Stalker but uh, yeah this is part of the race team I don't believe I had it so I grabbed it this is number four that's pretty cool like that and then we have a Chevy SS which to me that's a Nova Mr. Gasket on the side SS on the fenders like this is set up as a race car absolutely love it this thing is awesome do like this one this will go with my race car stuff I have I think that's awesome mr. gasket on the trunk lid there that's the first time seeing this one so yeah I had to have it <laughs> and then I got another Hot Wheels racing and this is number 12 it says the 1970 Chevelle SS I wasn't 100% sure I had this one and if I do it might be in blue 
But uh, this one here is definitely black with red interior. Love it. That's awesome. And then I got the first edition Diora 2. And uh, that was pretty cool. I liked it because it's got the uh, surfboards in the back and they say Hot Wheels. So that's pretty cool. That's really the reason I grabbed it. It's pretty neat. I think anyways. I think that's alright. And then I got a uh, Oles. And uh, this is another one. I believe it's a race team. I'm not 100% sure. But it does say Hot Wheels. And it's got number 11 on it. So uh, it could be. It's kind of a cool paint job. Like I said I'd never seen this one before either. So that was pretty cool. Actually it says 5 of 26. So there's probably a whole different series for this one. I don't know. Yeah, don't matter. I like it. And then I got uh, first edition 2007. This is Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Uh, that was pretty cool. Another first edition. I managed to collect quite a lot of these uh, first editions. So I'm going to have to set up a spot for all my first editions too, I think. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Then we got the Toyota Celica. Now it's it's different and that's why I picked it up. I had never seen it before. That was kind of neat. So why not? I don't collect these little small cars, but this one here kind of looks kind of cool, so that's why I grabbed her. Kind of neat. It's alright. Then I got another first edition. This here is Rat Bomb. So this is done in a Zamax. It doesn't say it's Zamax, but there is no paint on that thing. And I thought that was pretty sharp. I like it. Pretty cool. And then I got another... Uh -oh. I got another Root Beer Chevelle here. The first one I got, it's yellow. You can hardly tell it, what it looks like because it's so yellow. And now I have one with a clear... Uh, bubble here on it anyways and uh, yeah you can see it looks good I like it that is awesome finally got a clear one that's cool then I got this Hummer it was pretty neat I never seen this one before with the uh, Hot Wheels logo on the top and that's why I grabbed it it's uh it's got number one, so I'm guessing it could be part of the Hot Wheels Racing. Not 100% sure, but I'm guessing it is. So it's one of four. We'll see if we can't find the rest of them. And then we got this Olds 442, another one, race team, as far as I'm, I can figure. Anyways, it's got the number one. This is actually a really nice casting of this car. It's white interior. There's a the front of her. She does sit awful high. For an Olds, but it's all right. It's a nice car. I like it. I think it's awesome. And, whoops. Oh, gosh. I'm going to pick up one of the cars off the ground here. Then we got the ramp truck. Again, Hot Wheels on the side. Emergency, 24 hours. I think I have one, but I think it was blue. And, uh, yeah, so I grabbed this one because it's in green. And, uh, it looks good. I like it. Pretty awesome. That is nice. Then I got this here. Side splitter. And this is a drag racing car. Absolutely. Love it. I think this one opens. Yes, this one here that does open. So this is a first time seeing this one. So I had to have it. That was just awesome. Cool car. Goes with my drag racing themes I got going on here. Then I got a first edition Bone Shaker, 2006. And it's just got the skull and crossbones on it. That was pretty neat. There's a the front of her. She's a Bone Shaker. They've, I've seen so many versions of this vehicle now, it's just unreal. There's a lot of these out there. Pretty cool though. And I got a Dodge Caravan because I do not have one of these in my collection. And I was quite surprised to see what it was. It was a 
Dodge Caravan. So, yeah, I had to get it. My father had one of these years ago. And it was almost the same color. But yeah, that's uh, something else, eh? Unbelievable. Dodge Caravan. That is cool. And actually, this come out in 97 on the back, so it'll probably come out in 98. I think that's pretty cool. That's awesome. And then I got another Thunderbird, or T-Bird, 1957, for uh, the Hot Wheels Racing. So yeah, had to have it. I know I don't have this one. I do now. It's awesome. That's great. Find that one. And way too fast. I found my first one of these uh, a week ago, I think. And this is the second one I've ever seen. And this one's done in orange. I think the other one I have is in yellow. And this one's done in orange. Checkers on the top there. Checkered flag, I guess. Two motors. Thing's awesome. Love it. Second one I've ever found. And then I got this here, 56 Ford. I thought when I first seen it that it's missing its decals on the side, but no, it's not. It's a flat black one. I think it's cool. And it's got like pinstriping on the top of this one. I think that is awesome. I have quite a few of these castings. And like I said, I thought this was an error because I didn't see nothing on the side of it, but it's not. So I was pretty happy to see that. I think it's awesome. Love it. Alrighty, so now we're going to get into some more. Oh, no, we're not. Uh, I got this thing here. I picked it up. It was there. Um, it's just a Hot Wheels set. It's got a Jaguar in it. I'm going to see if I can do this. I have to move my camera. It's in a package. This is craziness. I don't know really why I picked it up. It's just something new, I guess. So the first one is a Jaguar 2015, done in black. And then we have a BMW M4, which is there. And then we have a Audi RS5 Coupe, in green. And then a Mercedes 2015 Mercedes. Then we have the Porsche. Right there, 911, which is pretty cool. I do like that one. And an Alpine. And this is just a new set that came out there the other day. Well, it did here anyway, so I think that's the only reason I grabbed it. And uh, I'm sure I'll give it to one of the kids. They can play with this one. So that's not really my thing. Well, that's that's a new set, I guess. Out. So anyways, we'll carry on. We'll get into some good stuff here that I like a lot. And we got the Goose Chase. This is a 1941 Willys Coupe. Now, i am got them all except for, I think, two. And there's another one that just came out. And it's the uh, Studebaker, which I will be on the lookout for. But this is uh, Goose Chase. Black, red interior, chrome wheels. This thing is awesome. Just love it. This is one of 750 pieces, like normal. And, uh, yeah, that thing is cool. The axle on the back seems a little loose. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It just slides back and forth. But it don't matter. I was happy to get it. Like I said, I ordered these. And, of course, I paid for them, but it don't matter. If you want something, you got to pay for it, I think. And uh, I got this 1944 Willys Jeep. And I got the original version of it, and this version, being a goose chase, is a lot nicer. As far as I'm concerned, I like this version a lot better. This thing looks good. It's got the wild goose chase on the hood there. With the goose. This is the front of her. Yeah, this version, to me, is a lot nicer than the original. I love it. That is awesome. And then the other goose chase I got is the Camaro. All right. I just got these in the mail, so I was pretty happy. This 1968 Chevy Camaro SS350. Awesome. Again, red interior, black exterior, chrome wheels, red line tires. This thing is sharp. 
I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm missing like a Datsun tow truck, the Chevy pickup truck, 4x4, and then I guess the new uh, Studebaker in the Goose Chase. And I think I got them all. This thing here is sharp. Love the Goose Chases. I think they're awesome. Again, one of 750 pieces. Gotta like them. Then I got these here. These are new. No, I'm gonna do the older ones first. These are um, just regular M2s, ones I didn't have yet. The fancy paints and stuff like this. And this here is 1956 Ford COE tow truck. I thought this was cool. Love the paint job on it. Flamed up like that. Tow truck. I think that's awesome. I like the paint on that. That is great. Here's the back of her. I got so much to go through here. I'm going to have to move her along here. And then I got the uh, 1965 Ford Econoline. This is a bootlegger set. Again, awesome. Love it. If it had the uh, red interior, you'd almost think it was a uh, goose chase. But it ain't. <laughs> this is just bootlegger. Awesome. I have this casting many times over, but I didn't have this one. So and I got her now. And I did pick up. This here, 72 Ford F100, 4x4 Custom. Um, I didn't have it in this color, so that's why I have it now. I do have... I'm getting close to getting them all, I think, now. But yeah, this is uh, one I didn't have, not in that color. So I'm quite happy to get it. Pretty cool. And then, I got another 66... Ford Mustang Gasser in red this time, which is awesome. Looks really good. Pony up. Again, I have this one, this casting quite a few times in the Gasser, but it's when they put the different paint on it, they get you every time. At least it does me anyways. Love my Gassers. Got to have them. Here's the back. And then I picked this up, and I already have it. But you know what? I don't mind having two of them. And this is the uh, 1969 Ford 250 Ranger truck. Held a Brock on the side. I think I have this in a hauler too. So, yeah, I'm, I'm good with it. Love it. That's what I collect, these Ford trucks. So, I don't mind having an extra one of them things. And then I got this here. 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi. And it's in pink. And I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. That's why I grabbed it because of the color. I don't have it in that color. I thought that was pretty cool. I do have quite a few pink vehicles now. And this will just go along with it fine. The hood's a little wonky in there. It's kind of crooked, but it don't matter. It's all good. It's awesome. Love it. And it's pink. That's, I'm good with that. I like that. And I got another tow truck. And this is another 57 Dodge COE tow truck. This is 2013 exclusive. It's in yellow and the uh, the rigging on the back is chrome, which is pretty cool. I think that's awesome. And it's a Dodge cab over engine, so didn't have one. Do now. Chrome wheels. I think it's pretty slick. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. And then I got this 1956 Ford F100. Ford on the side of the door, which is awesome. It's another tow truck. I think that is fantastic. Love my Fords. This one here has got a big V8 in her. You can see that. Ford Motor Company on the side. Plow on the front. Pretty cool. Heck, my neighbors are out there yelling and screaming. It looks like it might have been marked up the hood of it that's on the plastic. But ah, uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Then we got this uh, 1957 Dodge COE truck. And it's done up like the little red express. And that's why I picked that up. I thought that was pretty sharp. That's pretty awesome. Like that. There's the back. Hard to see the back there, but eh, it's whatever. Pretty cool. 
and all these tow trucks I'm getting I have to have a Chev so there it is a 1970 Chevy C60 tow truck this is done in yellow and black looks pretty good 24 hours emergency service pretty cool yeah very nice very unique then well I already got this one and I didn't realize it I think I put it in a couple videos back I picked this up because it's moon eyes and I ended up grabbing another one but that's okay I don't mind that at all moon eyes equipment this is the uh, 1965 Ford van so moon 01 on the, the tag there that's all right and then I picked up this one here again because of the color absolutely love it this is a Camaro it doesn't say there's no tag on this one but uh, I'm guessing 67 68 Camaro and it's done in this uh, pink but it's a really cool pink it's like it's silver base and they put uh, pink paint over top of it I don't know what kind of paint that is but it is cool love the paint job on this thing there's the front of her thing is nice see there's no tag on this one so I don't know the year it's either 67 68 one or the other but whatever it is that thing is awesome love it I think that is great okay now to get into something a little different these are hoist ones again I picked up some of these because I already had some and this first one here is a 1941 Willie's Coop Gasser. So, yeah, I had to grab it for sure. And it's got a holly on it. You got your choice of wheels again. You know, you got your dished wheels. And then you got spoke there, or you can get all spoked. You got, yeah, just cool. Love this little car. Got quite a few versions of this now. I'm sure I will get quite a few more. Yeah, it's a nice little set. I like it. And then with that, I got the uh, 1968 Ford Mustang GT in green. I got it because it is part of the set. And uh, yeah, again, pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of the color, but it's all right. Not bad. There's the back of her. Doesn't have a license plate. The license plate usually has a year in there, but that one doesn't. That's all right. And you get your choice of motors you can put in it and your wheels. And you can go with the hubcap wheels or the spoke five spoke McCrager Crager wheels. Looks like there. Yeah, it's a pretty cool set. I like that. And then I got the green van, which I think I already have it. I'm not 100% sure, but. If not, it goes with the, the other set I have. I know I have the white one. But anyways, we got this one out. And there's the green one. I'm not sure. I think I have this one already. I don't know why I was thinking about this. Now the more I look at it, I think I did. So I already have it. Eh, whatever. It don't matter. And then we have a 1967 Dodge A100 paneled van and this goes with the other set with the Mustang and the Willys so that's why I got it and it's kind of done in pink it's kind of cool nothing wrong with having some pink vehicles adds a little color that's all looks good and again you get to choose your your rims on this one again you go with the well I guess they're both five spoke one's got a little bit of black in it and this one here's just chrome so this one here's got a little black yeah, it's got white lettered tires to put on it or just plain black wall. Yeah, it's all right. Pretty cool. I like that set. It's a pretty neat set. So, I guess that's that. And I guess if you like that, then, uh, you know, hit that like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.